Good morning, family. Pastor James coming to you here. Just want to give you a word of encouragement this morning. Say a little prayer with you. Hey, listen, know that God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. When your mother and father has forsaken you and all others, God will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, on this Tuesday morning, I want you to keep your head lifted up. I want you to continue to trust God, continue to allow God to be the head of your life. Um, just continue to focus on him. Set your heart on the Lord. Set your heart on the things of God. Set your heart to please God and not to please man. See, because thing, things in this world are only temporal. They don't last forever. Nothing that we have lasts forever. The house we live in going to break down and have problems. The cars we drive going to break down and have problems. The food we eat is going to be gone. Hallelujah. So no matter what it is you're dealing with, just know that it's not going to last forever. However, your salvation in Jesus Christ will last forever. There are great benefits to having Jesus Christ as your Savior. And a lot of the benefits with Jesus, with God, are intangible. That means they're not touchable. Like peace, peace of mind, peace in your heart, peace in your words, you know, being able to get that discernment to recognize who's with you and who's against you. So today, I just want to uh, say a prayer for you and maybe do a confession, um, but just know that, hey, God bless you and I love you. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you on my brothers and sisters who will watch this video. I pray right now that your kingdom come, your will be done in their lives as planned in the will of God is in heaven. Father, this is the day that you have made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I pray, oh, Heavenly Father, that we all return to our first love, which is you, God. Father God, that we set our hearts, our mind, our soul, our will, our intellect, our imagination, we set it upon you. And Lord God, we thank you for giving us everything that pertains unto life and godliness. Father, we know that anything we ask of you, we ask it in the name of Jesus, it is done. But Father, we know that it has to be in the plan and the will of God for our life. For you know the thoughts and the plans that you have towards us, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us a hope, a future, and expect it in. And Father, I pray today for my brothers and sisters that you will give us peace, you will give us joy and love, mercy and compassion, God, that you will even bless us with natural, physical benefits, God, so that we can show others your glory. Father, I pray for restoration in their bodies with families, pray for promotion on the jobs, promotion in their businesses. Father God, but in everything we do, I pray that we honor you first, that we be not only hearers, but doers of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, now after, say this after me. I am anointed. I am successful. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am heal i am blessed i am highly favored i am love i am intelligent i am capable i am well able i declare the favor of god surrounds my life as a shield and i have favor and good success in the sight of God and man. No evil will befall me. Neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. I love God and God loves me. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, touch the hem of his garment. Pour down what you need, your victory, your peace, whatever it is. But listen, whatever you do today, do it to please God. Seek God and let him direct your path. Psalms 27 and 1 talks about the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When you give it all to God, you don't have to worry about anything. So this is Pastor James Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Peniel Covenant Christian Center, coming to you live from my vacation spot. So you relax, my brother and sister. Have a good day, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Peace.